Hi, I'm Derek Oxton with Rusted Ox, and I've got a purchase that I've been excited about and waited a long time. It is the Fireball Tools FA75 table. Um, it just got dropped off from the trailer earlier the, today, and so I looked around online, couldn't find any videos on the unboxing of that, or on how to, well, um, I think his name's Adam, uh, maybe I'm 79 maybe? Or, yeah, whatever it is. He had a video setting it up, had a real nice shop. I'm a little jealous of what he's got there. Uh, but this one I'm gonna have to set up here in the driveway. I've got a forklift, or not a forklift, I've got my skid steer to help try and lift the sides as I do it. The table's weighing just over 3,000 pounds, and so um, the capacity on my skid steer is not quite that much, but I'm hoping that if I lift one side, get some legs put on it, um, I can get the thing stood up. But I'm gonna run through the unboxing, and first I'm gonna show you some of the damage that we had on the pallet, which is almost non-existent now. So I've got it propped up on blocks right now, but uh, there's some metal underneath it, but there's essentially no pallet left. They had some blocks of some things stuck together, but I mean, yeah, just nothing. So if you've got one coming to you, just expect that this is the condition it's gonna arrive in. Just bashed up a little bit. Now hopefully the table's fine, but as we go through that, I'll find out real quick. So it looks like all my fixtures and everything are on top. I bought a bunch. I bought the smaller set and the large set of tooling. So that should give me a large variety of clamps and everything that I need. This is a lot better than I was expecting. So it looks like each of the legs come pre-assembled in a single box. So I've got a few set of holes here. And you've probably seen this online where you can adjust the height of the table. Um, that's going to be too short for what I want, but at least the legs all assembled together. And it appears, haven't seen the instructions yet, it appears that the bolts to bolt it to the table are included in a little baggie. I've got six of these boxes, or five more, so each one of these should have another leg. bolts and again it doesn't look like there's really any damage so packaging seems adequate for protecting that That's under the wood blocks that I put. So that can wait. All the legs and hardware. Seems like really good heavy duty casters. 
They've got a nut up underneath here to do some fine adjustment. Different holes here to raise it up by inch increments if you depending on the height that you want. So it's all adjustable that way on this package anyway. So now one of the challenges that I've got, I've got to figure out how to lift this up on one side, get this sheet metal base underneath it out of the way so I can at least get a corner done without it falling off the blocks that I've got it on. So I'll probably put a couple more blocks on this end so that if I lift on this, it doesn't go sliding off the block or tip over. But yeah, this is 300 plus or 3,000 plus pounds, so you got to be careful. Don't be sticking your fingers under it or your feet. This might be the best option. If I can come under here and peel this down enough to where I can access the mounting holes up underneath, that might work. But I guess before I do that, so this is this is eight inches. And so if I want a 36 inch top, I've got to get those legs to where they're a total height of 28 inches. So I'll get work on that first. So it looks like so three holes. Wrong side. So the other side. Has more space so that this will seat in there deeper. So make sure it's on that side. I'm gonna take this and rotate it. And that looks like 27 and a half. I will run with that though. This is all the way through. Washer, lock washer, not. And repeat. All right, that's it on those. So I'm gonna grab some wrenches and get all these tightened up. And then we can figure out how to lift up the table and get these legs under it. So this bolt is to mount it up underneath it appears to be a 10 millimeter so the 3 8 is a little loose so 10 millimeter on this is far too small not sure what size that is didn't see any instructions when i pulled things apart but it appears to go up under the table um it'll be a 10 millimeter so now i'm going to get all this stuff off the table and figure out how to get this thing lifted When I started raising up that other end, it was wanting to roll this way. So I'm gonna jack up this corner and get turn these blocks to where they're straight and put another one in right in here. So when I lift up on that other side, it doesn't wanna roll on me at all. So well, hopefully that works out.
Okay, Lana, come down. We are done. Well, that took several hours. I can post the amount of time. That bottom piece, it's kind of a pain to get off as I had it jacked up. And it scratched up the leg on that side a little bit. But uh, I don't think it's gonna be too noticeable. Um, I got all the bolts pointed to the inside so that I'm not somehow snagging them, which I'd probably do. Overall, not too bad. It'd be a lot easier if you had some bigger equipment. Um, that skid steer is well, maxed out trying to lift that whole thing, but uh, if you had a big crane or something else, that would be awesome. I'm excited about this. Awesome finish on this. This is one of the blemish tables, um, but it's looking pretty good. So I'm excited to start using this and figure out how to best optimize with that. Anyway. I'm Derek with Rusted Ox and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.